Hello, I'm Greg Wright Camp, Wright Camp Mods, and do you remember this video right here where we installed a PC video card like this into this iMac right here? Well, I've ran into some problems, and um, this thing's actually been sitting a long time. Today, we're going to show you how to Mac flash it and put a Mac ROM on this video card. Well, not this particular video card. That video card is still in this. Um, this is actually for another video coming up. But um, yeah, uh, lots of problems. We'll explain what those problems are with working with a PC card and uh, show you how to flash it to make it work with a Mac. So let's get into it. So before we get into it, if you notice, I'm uh, filming in a little slightly different venue today. This is the same room, but this is against the wall right now because the video that I was filming uh, is currently still being done over there on the table I usually film at. And um, it's going to take probably a day to do what I need to do. I want to film something, and this is actually kind of associated with that video. So, yeah. Remember my mid-2011 uh, 21.5 inch iMac here. We did um, a install of a GeForce, uh, uh, what was it, 765M in it, I believe. And that was the most affordable PC MM MXM um, 3 um, video card you could get uh, that is metal compatible for an iMac at the time. I think they've actually gone up in price. I'm not really sure on that. Um, and they just, it's not really that great of a bang for the, your buck now. And from what I understand, it's just kind of, it's not a great card. But it does metal very well. And it will allow you to run newer OSs um, with full metal support uh, with the right patches, of course. Uh, but it's got a lot of problems. Let's talk about those real quick. Um, of course, no boot screen no boot menu, no target disc mode on the 27 IMAX, um, 27 inch IMAX, uh, you, you have no target display mode in one of the ports if it's um, a 2011. And I don't know if the ports work if it's an older model like a 10 or an 09. Um, lots of problems there. Well, the lack of having no boot screen or anything even if you could get uh, Open Core Legacy Patcher to work on the system, right? Um, you also already have to have an OS on it. And um, I ran into a problem where my Mojave install would no longer boot, uh, no matter what I did. And uh, suddenly my High Sierra install, which was my backup, also stopped working. And I couldn't boot into it. So I ended up wiping this system at one point and installing Windows on it uh, to experiment with it. It booted Windows fine. It, uh, for some reason I could get Boot Camp to work fine on this, but I couldn't get anything else to work. So right now it's stuck as a PC in a Mac case. <laughs> and uh, that's a problem because it's not a PC and I, I'd like it to be a Mac again. So, luckily, since I did the video, uh, they have actually released a bunch of custom Mac ROMs for these cards, including the one that's in this. And you have to have a copy of Windows installed on the Mac to do it, which is kind of a drawback for a lot of people, because people don't like to mess with Windows if they have a Mac. Man, is this thing wobbly. Uh, not super sturdy here, but yeah. Anyway, hopefully it doesn't fall off. But I, I didn't want to hold it anymore, it's heavy. <laughs> But anyway, so you've got to install Windows, and um, then there's a program you can use to flash it. And I don't know if it's going to work, because I've never tried it. I barely looked into it. So this is going to be an experience for both of us. All of us, in fact. Um, I've never done this. And uh, this could go very wrong and break this thing. 
Um, so that's a forewarning. This could break your system, or at least the card that's in it. And I don't want to take this thing back apart to swap the card back out just so I can get it running again. That's the whole reason why it hasn't been running. And that's the reason why it's currently running Windows. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't want to run Windows on it anymore. Uh, I want to go back to OS, uh, Mac OS. In fact, I want to get this up on the latest OS and enjoy it. So we're going to be flashing this video card today and fixing all the drawbacks of uh, having a PC card by no longer having a PC card. It would be a Mac card. So, um, yeah, it's, that'll be fun. Let's get going. Okay, just to give you a brief setup here, this is the iMac right now running Windows 10. I think this is like 1709. I just grabbed a copy of Windows, I guess, when I installed it and never updated it. It doesn't really matter what copy of Windows you're running. And if you notice in the background, there's a 2070-inch iMac running right now. Uh, that's the other video I'm working on right now. So, uh, yeah, that'll be in the background. It won't bother us when we're doing this. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to start researching everything real quick, and we'll come back. Okay, guys, so if you're going to be flashing an NVIDIA card, there's a few things you need to know. Um, support is really getting hard to do with an uh, open core legacy patcher now. Um, it's still not impossible, but a lot of the newer OSs just don't support NVIDIA cards anymore. Um, but anyway, if you need to get the ROM for your card, go to this page of Mac Rumors. We'll have a link in the description below. And this tells you about everything you need to know. I've already downloaded the ROM from this one. And um, I don't know how I'm going to flash it. There's multiple ways you can flash this card. Uh, you can do a ROM, uh, a um, chip reader, you can do it in different operating systems. You can do it in Windows 7, which I figure you can do it in Windows 10 too. Like I said, I'm experimenting right now and this could end up really bad. But um, you can also boot into Linux and you can also do it through OpenCore somehow and I'm not sure how you do that. Um, I can't get OpenCore to work on this right now. So um, I'm going to try something that it doesn't even mention on here, uh, which would be NVFlash. And I don't know if it's going to work, but uh, we're going to see. So um, I've got to remember how to use NV Flash because it's been a long time since I've done this. Um, and I've never really been successful with flashing a Mac ROM onto a NVIDIA card. Um, so... <laughs> I'm a little nervous and I have a weird feeling this isn't going to work, but we'll try it and see. So I'm going to save the file first and you can do it through in, uh, NV Flash, but I think I'm going to try GPU-Z uh, because there's an option for that in there too and I believe it will do it through that. Um, so if I do this, save the file, Yes. Okay, it's saved. That's the original file there. And as we can see, this was a Dell card at one point. Um, so now I'm hoping that's all I need to do. We've got the actual ROM file we're going to need right here. And I'm hoping this will work, but um, we're going to find out because I don't remember any commands. And uh, this could be really bad. <laughs> um, ah, huh? Okay. Yeah, uh, like I said, experimenting. One second. If, if I remember correctly, you're supposed to open up in command prompt in Windows. CMD, run it as administrator, and then let's do, all right, we're in the directory. So now, 
if I type in NV Flash 64 and then the file name, I, I wish I remember the commands. It's been so long since I've done this. Um, Hey, what? Let's put all of this in the same folder. So I need this right here, and I am going to rename this something simple. What the heck? Where did it go? I think I just deleted it. Oops. I did. Try it again. Name it something simple. 765. Try that. Okay. I don't remember the options. I wonder if I can just. Yeah. What? Okay, yeah. Yes. Oh, don't tell me it's that easy. Um, I guess it was successful or it just broke something. Because there's no video now. And I'm not sure if the video is going to come back or not. We may have to uh, hard reboot this and pray it comes back online. Um, enter. <sighs> Should I just shut it off? Is it, uh, Probably a bad idea. I don't even know if it's off. Ah! It came back on. And it didn't shut off, thank God, because that would have been bad. Okay, it flashed. That scared the crap out of me. All right. Let's see if we have a boot screen when we're done with this. I need to close. Okay. Let's shut it down. Now, restarting it completely resets Windows. Let's shut it down. We'll shut it down. Okay, it's off. We hit the power button. We hit the power button. We'll hold up the option and see what happens. Oh my God, the screen kicked on immediately. Oh, it worked! It worked! That has got to be the easiest flash I've ever done. <laughs> it was just like so simple once I remembered how to do it. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, we've got a Mac flashed card in here now, which means I can actually get open core on here and actually use the thing again. Um, we'll be back after I uh, get open core back on here, but um, before we do that, let's not boot back into Windows and see what GPU Z says. If it opens back, there we go. Yeah, so I'll be right back. All right, we're back in Windows. See what GPU Z says now. 
it still says it's a Dell card, but it's got a new BIOS on it, which makes it a Mac card. That is sweet. All right, we'll be back after I get OpenCore on here. Well, Ventura is installing as we speak. We'll be right back in Ventura. And there we have it, guys. 100% metal support on Ventura. Yes, uh, like I said earlier, uh, NVIDIA cards are getting harder to support, but they still work uh, as long as they can keep patching them. And uh, this one works fine. We're in Ventura right now with full metal acceleration. As we can see here, um, and it says mid-2011 iMac. There's the card there. If we look in system information, it says metal supported right there. And it, all the animations work totally fine. Everything just works like it should with no issues whatsoever. All the menus are working and it's pretty quick. Now, I would not recommend installing a new OS, anything past probably Catalina, on one of these systems, though, if you still have a hard drive. This was the most painful experience of my life with this hard drive. Because um, it uh, took probably about four hours to install Ventura. Um, because it kept freezing and trying, having problems with loading and stuff. Honestly, once the OS is installed and loaded, it's okay. It would take about two minutes or so to load, and then it just works. It, it works pretty snappy. I mean, there's some delay, but now that we have a supported card that actually works right, it just works, and it works quite well. And it just is quite amazing how good it does work uh, once it's all loaded. Um, it's the getting it loaded part that was the painful part. Um, I would recommend an SSD upgrade. I'll probably have to tear this apart, but I'm happy, I'm excited, it's working, and I can finally start using this again. I can actually restore my Mojave back up, back onto it finally, because I still have it. Um, and I can just enjoy Ventura with all my old settings and stuff and uh, have a fun time. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope this helped you understand how to flash a PC MXM3 card for a Mac. Um, and you guys got to see the end result where it just works. We've got full metal acceleration. The system's pretty fast, except for the booting part, but SSD would fix that. And you'd have a nice, fast, modern system. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and thank you for watching. This has been a Rock K Mods video. Whoa, it's heavy. So let's get into it. Oh my God, that's heavy.